I'm going to show you a picture of a flock shula. It's not what you're thinking, but when you see it, it'll make sense. Said... Howdy, everybody. It's Kentucky Ranger. Anna. Anna. Mama. Mama. Sissy. <laughs> Sherry. No, that's right. Sherry. 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 <laughs> and uh, we're sitting here getting ready to do a universal yum. We should have done this a couple weeks ago, but I had the flu. I'm just getting over it. So, ugh. And now we got the coronavirus thing going on. Yeah. So I guess we're violating the law because we're not six feet apart. But <laughs> Yeah. This is like all together six feet right here. Pretty much. Yeah, seven feet. Anyhow, like I'm sure feet. everybody's quarantining and self quarantining at home. So let's open this up and let's quarantine together. <laughs> yeah. So this one, the hint where people, where people learn to listen to their hearts. That's like a pretty decent clue because I have no idea. France? Well, Italy. It's your eye like a big pizza pie. That's a movie. <laughs> yeah. Italy? I don't know. That looks like a French Oh, wait a minute. How about is Venice? it French? Ven Venice, Italy. Well, Venice? no, Paris is like the city of love. Oh, so, France. What's yeah, it France? France? Uh, well, what the deal is, he's got like a stethoscope. No, I think that's like an MP3 player. Give it the news, yes. you got Back back in, in, you. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. We shall find out. Because you already know at home because of the title. But, oh well. We don't. No. Nope. Until now. Are we ready? Yes. It is. France! France. That was Just right the first time. Yeah. Frenchy. As you can see. I do like French Bulldogs, they're cute. Yeah, is it French lady? I like this car go. Hey, what's that? <laughs> Snails. Oh, I, oh, yeah. oh, I get it. He's serenading You're your murderer. with a box of Because they're alive when you put the salt like, on them and they oh, die of slow belly. death. Down her belly. Yes, car go. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself for killing a and snail like that. He's usually got the games and stuff on the back. It's Which quick. we can't do because no, it's not. <laughs> this thing would take like forever and two hours to do. Yeah. All right, so let's do the, let's do so the questions. Let me, you know what I want to do? What are we doing? June Bub says, oh, are you yeah. experimenting? Radical. Oh, well, don't cut yourself. What are you doing? I'm trying to do. I mean, that, that looks pretty uh, dangerous. dangerous. Careful, don't. Don't try this at home. You have to go the opposite. You need to go the opposite way. This stream is fraught with danger. This knife is Oh, so, no, I'm going to have to change that. Yeah, there we bit. go. There. Yeah, I got my diamond sharpener. Yeah, she's got, she can sharpen it for you. Anyhow. Ain't you had that knife for like a year? A, like A year? Not a year, for but like, like 20 years. For like 20 years. I was about to say like. It's, I, old knife. it's a good knife. They that ain't the one that you cut Gerber. yourself on at one time. Trying to cut open my Christmas present. Oh, I was like it's sick. not that old. Oh, I was about to say because I feel like I remember it from It's old, but not that old. <laughs> Okay, let's go with the trivia. All right, French trivia. Number Ooh, one. La, la. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. Mon ami. I remember, hold on a second. I remember, I have oh, a memory. France, I? I have my memory. When I first got my Wii Ooh. in eighth grade, he he said, <laughs> he Who's said, that? you said, can I see your Wii oui, Wii? Oui? And you're like, oh, wait a minute. Oh God! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me see the wee wee. Uh, wait wee -wee. a minute, wee wee. Uh, nope, just kidding. <laughs> Not that one. We were one of the fortunate families that the Wii controller didn't end up in the screen. In the, the TV. TV. Yeah. Hey, that thing still works. Hey, I, I like got my Wii. Picked it on. What was that, Rayman? Oh, I loved that? the Rayman the games. Little psycho the rabbits. Ra the rabbits. The they, they were funny. Cool. They I were funny. <laughs> I miss that game. <laughs> well, let's play it sometime. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. We'll we'll make that a Monday with mom. Retro okay. game night. <laughs> that would be cool. What's going on with it? June bug. June bug. 
What's she doing? I wish we she had like a point of view. She knows when we gather like this, there's food involved. Uh, well, yeah. Well, she likes the snack she's treats, baby. too. Here, Grandma's going to zap you. She's going to zap you. Will that work? Don't tell people I zap her. Uh, that's she's good. Got a, she's got a she taser. doesn't taste. Dog taser. No animal abuse, okay? Mm. It's not that. It's like a thing that she uses to She's help got train a her. Light on it. it has a light, and she calls it the zapper. So. Okay, let's do the trick. All right, I'm gonna get you. Come on. Get I'm gonna get you. Come on. I'm gonna get you. Where's my zapper? Oh get up there. Oh my god. She's gonna scoot it to the dogs, literally. Oh, That's so bad. Okay, anyway. Let's stay down. Hey, I'm on the question hey, number one. Come on, yeah. We're starting. Geez. I'm proctoring the exam. Okay. Paris is home to the world's oldest A. Basketball court, B. Cookie jar, C. Wedding ring, or D. Coffee shop. Probably coffee shop. I want to say cookie jar. They're really, they're really they're into their coffee. Jar. Are they? Coffee shop. What did you say? Cookie jar. Basketball court. <laughs> really? In France? It may have been invented in Massachusetts. It was invented in Massachusetts in 1891, but the oldest continuously used basketball court is in the basement of YMCA in Paris. YMCA in Paris? Never heard of that. No. YMCA. Oh la la, says Jay. <laughs> Charles Buckley! Ooh, ooh la la! <laughs> the court has seen more than its fair share of dribbles and ducks. It's been in operation since 1893. Okay. Is that many French people like to dribble and dunk a lot? I guess. I don't know. Number two, order an American sandwich in France and you'll get a sandwich filled with A. Baby hot dogs B. Pulled pork C. French fries or D. Mac and cheese French fries. I'm gonna say the baby hot baby dogs. Hot dog. I'm gonna say baby <laughs> hot dogs. I want, I want fries. baby hot dog sandwich. This sounds good. It's the French fries. Oh, forget French fries. I want baby hot dogs. <laughs> um, in let's see, in France, they're not called French fries. They're called les frites. I'm the only one. Sorry. And they're considered an American specialty. You're so smart. They're I know this. It. <laughs> they're the starting ingredient in the American sandwich, alongside beef, lettuce, tomato, and cheese. Fries aren't technically French or American. They historians believe they originated in Belgium. Well, oh, well. Okay. Spoiler alert. All right, number three. To thwart bombings during World War One, the French government planned to a move all citizens to a nearby island. B invent a laser to destroy bombs before they landed. C build a full-size replica of Paris as a decoy, or D, give enemy soldiers chocolate to make them reconsider. How about yeah. chocolate? I, it seemed like I vaguely remember something about a replica. I, I was going to say the replica. Yeah, I, I, I would say replica. Lasers, no. This uh, that's one. a little bit... Yeah. Uh, I, watch it be true, number three. It is the full-size replica. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they were gonna like make everything functional, and uh, real Paris would go dark and fake. Paris, the, and fake Paris would light up. The war ended before the project could be completed. Yeah. Okay. They Number... used to do that in Great Britain in World War II. They have camouflage that look like hay fields and stuff, and they put them over the buildings. They built like factories and stuff, so where the bombers couldn't tell where they were at. Hmm. Pretty cool. <clears throat> there was a castle in Germany that kept getting destroyed so much that finally the last time, I think it was during one of the worst, one of the towers fell down or something, they're just like, forget it. We can't oh, well. we can't do anything with this anymore. <laughs> Number four. In the small town of whatever that is. Laurel. 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 You probably yeah. only pronounce like two letters of that whole thing if it's Where French. Right down there, I think. Laurel. 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 Or what was that stupid thing you hear it pronounced a different way? Laurel or oh, Laurel? Laurel. 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 Yes, some, I don't know. Okay. Mind. In the small town of... <laughs> it's Laurel. required by law to... Um, A. Be polite. B. Eat snails. C. Watch the Tour de France. Or D. Cut your hair. Eat snails. Uh, I would say Tour, tour de, de France. France. Yeah. I'm saying that one. Me too. It is being polite. 
Well, well pretty good. Being so. rude isn't just a faux pas, it's a crime. In 2012, the wow. mayor passed a law that townspeople can be kicked out for impoliteness, for forgetting to say thank you, to neglecting to hold the door open. A troll-free town. Must be nice. <laughs> yeah. Number five, France is home to the world's largest A, reflecting pool, B, art academy, C, bridge, or D, palace. I want to say the art academy. I feel like their art. I'm going to say the bridge. I was thinking bridge. No, that actually one of the. Art, art academy. I don't know. I'm going to say the art academy. What'd you yeah. say? It is the reflecting pool. It is 37,100 well, square feet. It's called the water mirror. That's a big pool. It's less than an inch deep, and every wow. 20 minutes it releases a layer of magical looking mist. And if you guessed the bridge, you're not far off. France's Malav Viaduct isn't technically the largest in the world, but it is the tallest. Huh. Huh. What was that called? The what Viaduct? It's called the, I can't say it, but Mi Milal Miguel Viaduct. Where? Let me see. Right here. Hold on. We're looking at the answers. Right there. By the Milau. 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 Yeah. But that, I'm pretty sure that you only, like, you have, like, a bunch of letters Milau. and you only pronounce, like, two of them in the, yeah. in the whole language. Oh, French is a hard language to learn. Oh, I you know like that their numbers? different inflections. You've got, like, a male and a feminine and a yeah. masculine pronunciation and it means completely, oh, Lord. And if you want to say, like, 80, you don't say 80, it's like 60-20. So you have to do math. No. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Their numbers are weird. It's hard. No, but you have to. If you, you can't just say the number. You have to do the math to get, to get the number. I'd never learned to count then. Well, it would take 20 minutes just to give them your phone number. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. And then, yeah. You need to look it up. You two need plus to like, two divided by 36 is the square root of 14. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think they got your number. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Blue. <laughs> oh, no. uh, oh, that kind of reminds me of like. Take a month to dig, tell them your social security number. Yeah. Because it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, in 1907, Parisian waiters <clears throat> went on strike because. A, their uniforms were ugly. <laughs> B, they thought French food was too experimental. C, they were being paid in crepes. Hey, I can't, I'd take that. Or D, they weren't allowed to have mustaches. I feel like the most realistic mustaches. thing would be the mustaches. I'm gonna say crepes the don't uniform. pay the bills. I'm I'm crepes don't pay the bills, but I mean they're good. I'm picking the uniform. Yeah. Okay. Crepes are good. Okay, what's the they weren't allowed to have mustaches. I told y'all that was the most realistic. I said, thing. I got it. I, they yeah. didn't. Mm -hmm. well, I did. Yeah. Let's see. The first high-end restaurants were opening and the mustache was becoming an elite status symbol to establish a hierarchy between wealthy clientele and their staff. Restaurant owners forced waiters to shave their mustaches. They went on strike. The policy was redacted and their mustaches survived. Just cool. see another day. Okay. At the Dunkirk Carnival, this is number seven, Blank is poured on people's heads. A. Grated cheese. B. Wine. C. Raw fish. Or D. Cotton candy. Wine. I think it's wine. I feel like I think that's wine. That's a place, yeah, that they you get like free wine. I don't know. They got like wine fountains and stuff or something. Unless I'm thinking of a different country. It's raw fish. Okay. Ew, ooh, I'm thinking of the wrong country. Ooh, 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 ooh. But there is some country because yeah. we've done a I don't we, want no we raw gotta, fish on my head. No. Well, it only no. has cheese with maggots in it, so. Mm. What? Yeah. What? Italy illegal, has a cheese eat it anyway. with maggots in yeah. it. And it's not any good unless the maggots are alive. Yeah. That oh, reminds me gosh. your grandpa ate that cereal with maggots in it. Ew. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty gross. That I'll was gross. That. Oh. Yeah. He said it's protein. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, hold on, I need more context. Inside he was suffering, he didn't want to Yeah, yeah he was. He, was just, he accidentally he ate it until I figured yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. Then he had to tell us a story about eating lunch on sitting on dead bodies in Korea. <laughs> when I was in Korea, we used, we used the dead bodies to sit on while we were eating our sea rations. I'm like, no, you didn't. <laughs> no, no, we didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> 
Oh, hold on a yeah. second. Every year, 40,000 French folks gather in the port city of Dunkirk, sporting colorful clothes and umbrellas. They're there for one thing, to have raw fish dumped on them. You mean that's the thing to do? The festival began in 1676 when local fishermen met for hearty fish meals before six-month expeditions. Over the years, it's transformed into a unique event. Locals pack into town square where thousands of herring are tossed onto their noggins. Uh, I don't know. Some smooth little fish you got there. That's good. Keep it rolling. At the at the point du faux. Point okay. at the point du faux. The point du faux. Point du faux. Point du faux. The theme park less. <laughs> Ep 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 Thanks for tuning in to the last Mondays with me. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this. At the Pet de Fe theme park, <laughs> last episode. God, you know French people now are gonna report my channel and have it banned for me. <laughs> Sacre bleu, what's wrong with you? Uh -oh. Yeah, Conway. Uh oh. What? Yeah, Conway. Yeah. I don't know what his little sketches. That's what he sounded like. Oh, Mrs. Quiggins? Yeah. Mrs. Oh, yeah. Quiggins. Oh, my God. So that's why you were laughing. Well, now we know. Now we got the back story to that. That was the funniest guy in the world. Yeah, he was. I yeah. loved him. Okay, I'm not saying that again. The theme park in Les Ephesus Blank cleans up the trash. It's A, robots, B, ravens, C, squirrels, or D, beagles. I already ravens. accidentally saw the answer, so. Ravens. Squirrels. Squirrel! What do you think? Beagle. I'll be different. I don't know. It's ravens. Folks enjoying Never Francis' more. favorite historical theme park mm -hmm. uh, might spot something odd. Garbage cleaning ravens. As of 2018, the park employs six trained ravens to help That's collect so raven. small bits of trash. Did you say trained? <laughs> trash. No There's six them? trained ravens to help collect small bits of trash. No, train a raven. They're smart. They're smart bird. They and I think some of them can talk. They can pick up the trash and fly. Yeah. <clears throat> the sure. birds bring it to special disposal boxes, which dispense bird food in exchange for their hard work. Well, wow. Might as well the birds. Yeah. All right. The French pray. The French phrase "à la mode" means, oh, served with oysters is. from the heavens, served with ice cream or in style. Ice cream. I think ice it's cream. ice cream. Yeah. Ice cream. I know that. Yeah. Oh, it's served with ice cream and in style. Hmm. Oh, stylish ice cream. It's stylish ice cream. Right, a dessert is served okay. with ice cream, but not in France. There, the phrase means in style, and it's reserved for clothes, not pie. In the 19th century, upscale American restaurants borrowed French phrases for their menus to make their dishes sound more sophisticated. A la mode. Sophisticated. sophisticated. I like sophisticated. Sophisticated. I said sophisticated. Yeah, you did. You said sophisticated. More sophisticated. That's what I said. I just said it really fast. <laughs> Y'all can't process my we talking fast That's enough. right. We can't keep up. A la mode might seem like a random choice, but we think it's appropriate. After all, ice cream is always in style. Yes, it is. It is. Okay, let's go with the goodies. Let's go with these. Yeah. All right. The Brits. Oh, she's looking. She's been hey, looking patient. She's been oh, waiting. Look, I see what's in them first. Brits of fromage du Jura. Yeah. It means floral cheese flavored potato fromage chips. Means fromage means cheese. I don't know. I know nothing about it. Okay. It's, it's floral cheese flavored chips. 
I don't know, a floral cheese. Flavor. That yeah. makes me concerned. Did you know the average French person eats 60 pounds of cheese per year? It sounds like a lot, but they have an incredible number of different varieties to try. Actually, 1,600 varieties of cheese. <clears throat> well, I hope this stuff count my teeth black. For the, what? <laughs> What's cheese got to do with turning your teeth black? I don't know the last time we had a report, one of our teeth turned black. <laughs> you didn't, yeah, but you didn't have cheese. Well, I this don't is know cheese. What, I don't know what turned it black. Maybe. Fromage du jour. Du jour. For this chip, we'll just on focus on one variety. Comte. A sweet yeah, floral yeah. cheese from the French Comte province in eastern France. To make the cheese, every cow is treated to two full acres of pasture to run plus that 100% natural food. The fresh milk is immediately rushed to the production site where it's crafted into cheese wheels and matured for four months. The result is an incredibly distinctive, delicious cheese. You might find yourself wishing for 60 pounds worth of these cheese, of if these chips. I don't know. I mean, I'm anxious to try it. I'm just going to jump over it. Hold on a second. I don't have cheese. <laughs> you cut one well, piece. Get Here, more. get another one. Well. All right, ready? I took five. I want another one. Okay. It smells odd, but it tastes good. Yeah, it don't. Good. It smells like. The milk is turning rotten or something, but it's good. You don't like it? That's five ranger. Huh? That's five. Maybe about five ranger. So. Pretty good. June bag is just picky. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, next thing is called Truffles Bar by Mathis. Truffles Bar? Uh huh. It's uh, this thing, I think. I hear truffles. <clears throat> truffles. Cocoa dusted truffles. According to legend, this young came out completely by accident in the 20s confectioner Auguste Escoffier, I'm guessing, was making a pastry cream when he accidentally poured hot cream into a bowl of chocolate with seven bowls of sugar and eggs. <laughs> Rather than bidding the melty yeah, chocolate ado. Uh, God, they just eat Tony. Oh, that's like a little cinnamon toast crunch commercials. Yeah. They, yeah. He began experimenting. He quickly realized the chocolate paste. Is it? Is that called ganache? Ganache. Yeah. ganache. <clears throat> Could be molded, so he rolled it into balls, but he couldn't leave what? the gooey balls like that, so they're he um, covered them in cocoa powder. They're covered in cocoa powder. The results, the delicious chocolate ball that looked a whole lot like Francis mushroom and chocolate. Yeah, it's, it's like mm. a... Focus. Oh, I don't want your face. Focus on my finger. Is it good? <laughs> Anyhow, it's weird looking. Hmm. Apparently, it was created by accident. I'm excited. I like to try this. Ooh, look at the like consistency. Pass yeah. this one. What here? We no, have the whole thing. Oh, the whole thing? Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know if there was like a limited amount if we needed to ration it. Yeah, it's like it's covered. Look at the like truffle powder. Well, ready? That's yeah. interesting. Mm. Well. Ooh, that's good. See that? Well, that's rich. The initial cocoa powder taste is weird. But good once though. you start oh, chewing good. on it, mm -hmm. it's like, ooh. Mm -hmm. That's bad. So what mixes it with the rest of it? Mm. Yeah, but like the cocoa powder by mm -hmm. itself would be plum nasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not even sweet. Uh uh, it's weird. Mm -hmm. And that's what you yeah, taste yeah, you when get you first put it in your mouth. Bland and then an explosion. And then it just, oh, it's chocolate. Oh, it's good. Mm -hmm. That's five. That goes good with coffee. I like that. That's so okay, what's next? Mini roll. What's this? Raspberry mini roll. It's a cake roll with raspberry filling. Raspberry mini roll. Yeah. Yep. Can't have chocolate. This one. Yep, that's it. Mini roll. France practically invented dessert. No, really, the word dessert comes from the French. Des Desivier. Meaning to clear the table. Where? It's that word. Desivier. Desavior. Desavior. Des <laughs> Meaning to clear the table. I have an international accent on this one. 
Then <laughs> rest assured, when it comes to France's world-renowned desserts, there's never any problem clearing the table. These delectable raspberry swirl cakes are first-hand proof. You'll get a fragrant whiff of real French raspberries. Take a bite and taste pinch perfect ratio fluffy soft cake sweet syrupy raspberry jam. Ooh, it's a roll thingy. Yeah, it's rolled. I don't know why I keep closing this. Like that's too. Like fruit my roll. Cakes are lasting. It's like oh we're gonna. Oh god. They have good smell of perfume. Yeah, it's probably expensive. I'd say it is. Probably. Should know. That Larry five. the Tom that we used to use is fifty dollars a bottle. Larry the Tamp. <laughs> I, it's I, I liked it. Chanel number five. Chanel. Mm -hmm. Channel five. Channel five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's like light and fluffy. Ooh, that that smells, smells good. good. Yeah, they said it would smell good. Oh, oops, I put it on my face. Look at this. Ready? No, he's not ready yet. No, he has to make the thing. Focus. 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 There it goes. Are ready? Okay, now I can go. Oh! Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. mm -hmm. good. Oh, that's five. Mm. So far, everything's been yep, good. Boy. No do bug. Give her a tater chip. No, she can't. Oh, okay. You get a little mm. tea. You get Wendy's. That is so good. All right. Let me I'm crap. one of them chips. I know these things are good. They smell weird, but they're good. Les Sables de la Mere Pouillard. Pouillard. I'm trying. I keep the box. That's a cool Oh, that's box. a cool looking box. It's all retro. Les Sables de, de la Mere de la Pouillard. Pouillard. Pure beauty. Pure, Pure. 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 butter biscuits. Mm -hmm. Watch out. Main ingredient in this famous French shortbread is sand. But this is a delicious sand. Sable, sables are centuries old cookies made by rubbing cold butter into flour and sugar to form tiny particles of dough. Due to the dough striking resemblance to sand, these fine golden bread crumbs came to be called sable, which is the French word for sand. Sable. You gotta throw that razzle dazzle in there. Oh, yes. Cool, these though. I like this like, retro <coughs> oldie time box. These delectable cookies are made with sand, but very buttery. Sand? And it's the, okay, if you read my description, it was like, the way that they did it, it looked like sand. Oh. Well, we're at very buttery and edible kind, like not and sandy. On, on beaches, not beach sand. Is there one for each? Yeah, we can have a cookie of these. Ah, sweet. Mm -hmm. see that box. That's a cool box. That is. It's neat. Have you ever had it? Yeah. You can't kill the bad. snails. No, you're killing the snails. It's, it's animal abuse. Once you get past the idea of what you're eating. Nah. I'll eat oysters. Listen. Not snails. Oh, well, how about you eat them, them, uh, them bird eggs? No. Yeah, how no, about you no. do that? No. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. should do that. All right, civil chips, severe vinegre. Vinegar. Vinegar tater chips. Alright, Bordeaux is famous vinegar. for its vineyard. Vinegar, I'm gonna say vinegar. Paris is famous for Thai and restaurants, but what about the city of Orleans? The line directly between the two? What? Uh, it's famous for vinegar. What's a product in France? Between the 13th and 17th centuries, countless barrels of wine would go sour on its way from Bordeaux to Paris. 
And rather than take a lot of savvy merchants, New Orleans, I'm gonna say Orleans. I just, I don't know how you say that. Sold the spoiled wine as vinegar. Because it came from French meaning sour wine. The merchant's decision turned out to be anything but sour. They Their industry exploded. Today, oil and vinegar is used across France for everything from cleaning supplies to vinaigrettes. Oh, well, vinaigrette is not. Uh, to perfectly crunchy, delightfully tangy tiger chips like these. Vinegar chips sound better than you. Yeah. Alright, whatever. I yeah, actually I like. Vinegar. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean they smell like yeah, vinegar chips. Tart. I actually yeah, like them. Smell the tart. It like it. Well, about clear sign. Hey, okay, quit eating. Is she not? Hey, Grandma, donate it. <laughs> well, I guess we'll go in. Mmm. Well, it's okay. But I That's love fun, vinegar like, potato chips. Mmm. I know it's like. You can feel it in your jaw. Yeah, you can jaw. salt and vinegar potato chips. Yeah. I love them. That's actually pretty good. I like them. Yeah. I'd give that a five. Yeah, it's five. Okay. The I thing that's just... off of kind of weird because we just take the sweet things and mm -hmm. it's like, Bleh. like whoa. All right, the we need the tube. So this one. Sibe. Sibe. Tube. A green. Well, these are sibe too. Sibble. Uh, the green go. A um, gra, gra a green dot, a green nut, fromage. Fromage is another cheese thing. Cheese flavored tube snack. What's a tube snack? I guess we're about to find out. These? <laughs> Them things. We have shocking news. Okay, in France, people don't really snack. Uh, but let's be clear the French still enjoy munching on chips, crisps, and crackers. They just. Oh, look at the little mouths. They save them for a pre-dinner course called the aperitif. During the starter course, French folks gather for casual conversation. A glass of wine, a savory snack, sign to wet appetites for the meal to come. I've never heard that term used for uh, so appetite before. The cheesy grignoter, grignote, French for nibble, and your box is made specifically for the occasion. Feel free to do as the French do and save a snack for right before dinner. Like flat Cheetos, hot flat hollow what, Cheetos. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. Here. Oh, it. Well, you know those things that are shaped like triangles and people. Bugles. Yeah, bugles. Yeah. It has what like the same. Like. It's like the same ringy thing yeah. with the bugles. You ready? Hmm. It tastes Look. like those bugles are like better. Yeah. It tastes like a better version of bugle. That's good. Mm -hmm. The gourmet bugle. Yeah. Give me some more. Not <laughs> right, watch these. Those are good. <laughs> All Five right. Rangers. Five. Yeah. All right. I think it's yum bag time. I have to. It's yum bag time. Yeah, no, that's the bird clock. Enough. Okay. Come back time. Come back time. I can't say Come this. I know time. that's the brulee. I know that's how you say that, but I can't say that first one. Tetes. Tetes. brulee. We're going with that tropical peach tea and cola flavored chews with sour filling. Mm. Mm. Consider yourself worn. The super sour sweet is about to blow your mind. Which one is that? Ah, uh, that's the tit T T T T brulee. These. Yeah, them things, them There's colorful three things. Three of them. All right. Oh, they're different flavors. This candy's name yeah, translates to burnt heads. Burnt heads. Well, <laughs> they won't actually set your head on fire, but their extreme sour filling is much more intense than the sour candies you're probably used to, like Sour Patch Kids. Well, I'm gonna pass on that. With tangy flavors like peach tea, <laughs> tropical fruit, and zingy cola, they provide an explosively mouth-watering experience. Mmm. Huh. Grandma's not don't want one. Yeah, grandma don't want one, so no. we just each take one. Okay, well then we'll just oh, we don't have to break them up. Yeah, because that'll be hard. Wait, like a. Can you chew on it? Because if I. Chewy looking thing. Well, I'm, it, I'm not even. It's like, chewable. Don't break it, too. I'm just saying, I. Like, I'm testing it and it's chewable. It's oh. in the middle of it. Oh. I give it to the viewers 
at home. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, got, like sour. it's got like a sour filling in it. Did you already eat it? Yeah. Your mom's already <laughs> eaten it. Okay. Woo. It's sour. Good, though. Woo. Yeah. I thought it was going to be hard. That's true, like toffee, but all oh the glory is it's sour. I got to the center. <coughs> it's a good sour, though. It's just something about being hot. No, it's a sour. <coughs> it's like Laffy Taffy oh. with a sour center. Oh, I can only handle one of them a day. I like them, though. That's five. That's inches. a five. Oh, yeah. If you like sour stuff, If you I like, like sour, sour stuff, stuff, that'd be good. <coughs> oh, Lordy. Okay. You good? I'm trying. <laughs> You're trying to be? <coughs> All right. Yeah, it's like it's like Laffy Taffy with an extremely <coughs> sour that stuff that was in the middle. Yeah. Like it's lock gooey. Jaw sour. It's it's almost like a gusher filling. Yeah. It's like that, yeah. but extremely tangy. Woo. Yeah. Okay. Last All right, caramels, caramels. con fleur de sel. Salted butter caramels. Caramels. Salted caramel is a classic, right? Considering yeah. its popularity, you might think so, but the flavor is less than 50 years old. It was only in 1977 that French confectioner Henry La Roe set out to make a new candy using the famous yeast salted butter from the Brittany region. After three months for experiment, how did you bug? <laughs> it's caramel. It's caramel. I don't care. After three months of experimentation, he debuted this salted butter caramel. I don't want none. So don't it was an instant hit by 1980. Yeah. It was voted the country's best candy. By 2000, high American restaurants caught wind of the flavor. You want a little piece? Uh -uh. 2008 had gone totally mainstream with both Hagen Dazs and Starbucks debuting salted caramel products. With this <coughs> bonbon, uh, okay. you'll taste yeah, the salted caramel. That started it all. Find out for yourself why this French flavor is your stuff. Oh, sour stuff. Yeah, it's the sour stuff still lingering. Now, my mouth is watering. It's like... Yeah. You mean caramels aren't that old? No, 1977 is when caramel first came out. Well, they had caramel back in like the 1800s. I no. Do too. That's the flavor, one. but it's salted caramel particularly. So they may have had like caramel for them and not salted caramel. Had, spreading the germs. They were spreading the coronavirus. <laughs> They've had caramel ever since I remember. So. Wait, but I have salted caramel. Oh man. That's good. Yeah, good. Caramel it good. Caramel wouldn't be good for your false not, teeth. No, no, that's just why grandma didn't want yeah, it. Yeah, it's not good if you got. Uh uh. If you got dental work. It's definitely caramel. Yeah. Hang on, chew Yeah. Pretty good. I'm five. Ain't bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still have a chew on it. I don't know. That's why I just took a little piece. You got a chew, <laughs> a chew, a chew, a chew. Yeah. Anyhow, appreciate y'all tuning in. I guess that's it. Yeah. 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 If you're watching this and it's after the. What's on the back? Um, some yummy things. I want some of them chips. There they go. You're so if you're watching this and we're all dead, <laughs> <laughs> it was nice. Humanity it was okay. We're cool. We were cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. If you're aliens and you've landed on this planet and we're all dead, <laughs> and you just happened to stumble across my YouTube channel, <laughs> we died from coronavirus. We died from the coronavirus. <laughs> Croquet, madame, yeah. an egg on a piece of toast. That, I mean, oh, that the... I'd rather dip the toast in the egg yolk. Croquet, madame. Croquet, that's, isn't that a game? Yeah, the... Isn't the croquet a game? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What game is it? I forget. It's a ball. Yeah. Not you the balls. Set one sure. in the backyard. What is it where you take like a mallet looking thing and you? Oh, okay. And oh. and knock it all through waters. Yeah, so, through the wool. Uh, eight slices of country bread. It's oh, like, I guess you want to make eight of these or something. No. I mean, all it looks like is a piece of toast with the egg on it. It don't look that fancy. <laughs> that would be wasteful. 
Yeah, definitely. I don't know. You want to do that one next week? or? Uh, maybe. Maybe. She might do it. I don't know. We can also try we'll to play see. Rayman the Raven Rabbit. That's right, Rayman. We're going to have to do something. We need to get on We're that. all under quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> Gamer's paradise. Quarantine in, in place or however they're saying it. Anyhow, if y'all are watching this and you, you, you're sick, you got the virus, she I'm sorry. Uh, I hope you don't. You're in our prayers. I think 80%, at least of the Chinese population, from what I've heard, I don't know if it's reputable or not, no. but apparently they've recovered like 80% of them have. That's good. That's because they're making them take precautions. Well, I think Maybe. if you're one of these idiots out there that's hoarding toilet paper, <laughs> shame on you. milk and stuff, shame on you. Shame. <laughs> We all I got went to bums the to buy. I store the other day and there was three loaves of bread and I, they were all 100% whole wheat, so I'm eating healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I love whole wheat. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to learn to live. Well, I mean, I like whole wheat. It's, it was funny because when I went to the store, it's like everything was gone but these little, three little loaves. And mm -hmm. there was like one loaf of hamburger buns and two loaves of hot dog buns. Yeah. Or packs or whatever. But apparently where China and stuff has been under quarantine for so long, like it's the, the pollution effects are like like way down. Oh, Because like nobody's out going yeah. out. Jim Baker's making a killing on his buckets of oh, food right now. Oh, that's crazy. He hoarders and stuff like that. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay to be prepared, but not not to that extent that everybody's just, they're lo y'all losing your minds. Yeah. Calm down, take a breath. Stop. Yeah, before they make us start to ration things. Yeah. It's going to end. Yes, yeah. like real desperate use dryer sheets. Well, if you're watching this in real time no, right now, no. it's going to get worse before it gets better. But we can keep it from getting as worse as it could be. Yeah. Don't use dryer sheets because those things are scented. If you're sensitive, that's oh, not good. i burn my butt. I <laughs> use dryer sheets. Was that in Kentucky where they forced that guy to stay in his house? Yeah, the guy yeah. didn't want to quarantine himself. So they put like the a guard. The guards camped out or yeah, something. Yeah, around his house so he wouldn't go outside. That's crazy. <laughs> because he was refusing to quarantine himself. Yeah. So they're not doing that to you all of us. don't have to tell me twice. I don't like being sick. I don't know, what's either. funny is a couple months ago, the I installed the bidet, those bidets for the, you. The bidets. the bidets. So we don't need toilet paper. Yeah, right. <laughs> no. I mean, those yeah. things work. Yeah, we squirt and clean. <laughs> <laughs> and when toilet paper won't do the job, those suckers will about give you a like an enema, but they'll, Just it about. works. Well, you gotta, don't crank it all the no, way. No, you don't. Well, really no, but way. sometimes, like, you don't know, and then you accidentally do it, or if you do like, it the oh. wrong way, and it's like, what? <laughs> Or it shoots out through your legs. <laughs> I've had that happen. It, and I was like, oh. Boom, out of control. <laughs> I'm a little bit incontinent today. Americans using bidets, that's fine. I recommend bidets. Yeah, yeah me too. It is I think that came from France, didn't it? That sounds like it's a French a European word. thing. It's yeah. It is yeah. a European thing. Yeah. So anyhow, anybody got anything else to add? We'll wrap this up. By the well, way, I got them at Walmart, and they're cheap, and they're easy yeah, she to got install. Them. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Donald and Well, Stop. they're real easy, because I was the one to install them. She <laughs> real easy on her. Yeah. No, it was. It was a pretty pretty simple. If we're going to talk about toilets, the Germans have different types of toilets. I think they're called Flachspulas and Tiefspulas. Flachspule is what? Flach. Like it's flat. Like basically, you poop and it lands That's on like a little. In your squat. No, you don't know. You sit on it and there's a little flat space before it gets to the hole. Yeah. So that way you can turn around, and look at your stuff before you flush it. So you can inspect I think it's it. Over in China, you, it's got like where you squat and there's like a drain and you just do it all. With, it's Unless I thought I had something I needed to see, I don't think I want to touch it. Really? <laughs> no. It, they say, I've heard people say that that's not true, but my friend Livy earlier said that is 100% true because you go and- You were it, in Germany, didn't you see him? Yeah, he had one and okay. I used it. But they're saying that reason for having those is not true. So but inspection. Yeah, for the inspection. Because they look at it, I guess they take their health seriously and they look and see the condition. And... I don't know, but it lands on like, <laughs> 
a little platform and it's like a plateau before it goes into the hole. So that it's is, called a flock That's just, that's just flock I've got a horrible picture about this yeah. in my mind. <laughs> you ought to put a picture oh, of Oh, there's pictures, plenty of them. There's have already been pictures. up there, a couple of them. Ooh. I know, I think it's China, they got weird toilets too. Yeah, yeah. squat. Yeah. Well, no, this isn't a squat until you sit on it like normal. It's just like instead of it okay, going well, down into the hole. Okay, if I had to play. squat, I'd be in trouble because I can't get up. No, y'all are misunderstanding. It's not like you sit on it. Well, they got them now. But it lands on like a little platform well, in dude, the bowl. That one dude, he's a millionaire. He's got the squatty potty. You put the plastic thing in. Yeah, and you can that squat actually, down under. that's real. Like, that's a real. Yeah, that's a real thing. No, I mean, like the fact no, that you I mean, need to yeah. like be in over, yeah. like, it's helpful because you're supposed to poop that way yeah well anyhow yeah. <laughs> we'll, yeah. end. we'll end on that note this is a crappy ending <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended no pun intended yeah, yes, y'all are quarantining at home because this yeah we're we're all going to be out for the duration it's going to be a few weeks just stay so, home stay, stay safe home, till this yeah. coronavirus uh, dig out the old board games. The more that around. you quarantine yourself now, the less we have to deal with exactly. it later. Yeah. So right. just stay in. Exactly. And uh, that way y'all can watch more YouTube videos. You can watch more YouTube videos. Talk with your family members. <laughs> like I said, get out the board games. <laughs> yeah. We're in it for the duration. Yeah. <laughs> get off of the phones. Get off the phones, that's right. Well, that's They're probably on the phones more now than they ever were. Sure. I don't know. Sure. Did you hear where Netflix was about to crash because so many people was streaming? Well, yeah, it's putting the tax in the system. Yeah, sure. because everybody's at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyhow, with that, God bless. God bless. Bye. See y'all on the next one. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.